Welcome. I want to introduce you to Spatial Analytics, optimizing graphs on geospatial features for things that matter, our commute. So, imagine that you want to travel in California. Do you take the beautiful winding road on the left or the interstate on the right? I think the answer is pretty obvious. And if you're a business making deliveries, perhaps you would prefer to avoid routes. And sometimes, not everyone wants a thousand foot drop, even if the road is scenic. So this is the current state. If I want to go, say from UC Berkeley to Muir Woods, I don't really have a lot of options with current tools. I can avoid highways, avoid tolls, maybe avoid ferries, but shouldn't I be able to do more? GPS navigation is just optimizations of graphs representing road networks. Roads are split into many segments, each with speed or congestion data on them. We have nodes, edges, restrictions, and weights. Here we see a typical graph setup with road speed as the primary feature. Now, imagine we do something more interesting with these restrictions and weights. Then we can overweight based on beauty, or safety, or theoretically, any feature we want. But remember, the features are hyper-local, so we need to tag each micro-segment of the road network with features for that small segment. So what are these features? Well, maybe you want a scenic route versus the quickest one. Maybe something well-lit, something quiet, something with Tesla charging stations, maybe something specifically for trucks, maybe not. It can be anything important to you. To capture these features, we started with a baseline model. Just count green pixels. That is better than nothing, but we took it a bit further and started looking for objects. Here you could see we detected some trees and some lawns. Finally, we worked on a semantic segmenter. Now this actually chops up the image into exact pixels for what is what. Roads, trees, sky, signs, walls, etc. So we have a way to quantify beauty anywhere. But where do we get the images? We wrote it in Jester for Mapillary and ran a distributed ingest on their crowdsourced dataset. Here is the data in tabular form. We loaded millions of images from major metro areas as well as our favorite scenic spots. And here is a section near the Finger Lakes in New York. You can see individual images ingested on the map. We've made all of these containers public so you can spin them up yourself. Getting data from Mapillary was fine, but we wanted to capture features anywhere. So we created an app and set up a continuous ingest. Then we took a little mini road trip and captured 3,000 plus images, for the sake of science, of course. Before getting into the optimization details, let's jump to results from our road trip data. Going from Washington, D.C. to our headquarters in Virginia, we can choose the fastest route, the interstate on the left, or the Riverside Scenic Route on the right. You can see a sample of images we captured and the beauty scores they yielded. Here is the full Washington, D.C. metro area road network. You can see some of the images along the two possible routes. That scoring container is also available to you. Try it on a variety of images, or create your own scoring mechanism. Here is the graph and optimization setup we used. You'll also find it on the associated Jupyter Notebook. If you want to see this in action, we actually put everything up on our website. Check it out and run it yourself. What features would you use to optimize your drive? Kinetica, the database for time and space.